We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? Wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now, we got the fight in the way. by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Rock!
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Ah, teamwork. Oh, bugger. There's two of them. And they're angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well. You have fun now. Hey, you made it. About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Fuck you! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Oh, 
To that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering? Snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? The tall one is bodyguard or something. See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. <laughs> Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. Now that we can reach it, it's in the No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of a camp were twice as alarmed to see Blot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane down to the island. You just give me this. Now. On it! He ascends! Hey, I got the crane Turn it. covered. Copy that. Look around. Find an angle. Think that's what you do? <laughs> ah, promising. 
Turn it again. I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Once more. Aye, aye. Again. If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it all. Got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Crank cover. You do the other stuff. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Crank cover. You do the other stuff. <laughs> hey, I got the 
crank cover. You do the other stuff. Crank cover. You do the other stuff. Oh. Oh. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Cover. You do the other stuff. Crank cover. You do the other stuff. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it all. the crank cover. You do the other stuff. <laughs> hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Whoa. 
Well, I think they've seen us. Listen, you just made the last mistake of your life. Let's go. Take that nest out so the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? Incoming! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Oh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hang on! Hey! Call an old pecker trip! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? What you think you're gonna do here? Kill me? So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too much. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got two bumps on my buttons. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Miss Lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. But the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale.
He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own head. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your head.
Galfi Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> The fuck you. needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Oh, 
what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Any of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Get the dang death! Behind you, brother! Better take out that nest or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Stop pumpering around and smash that thing before more things come out! the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <sighs> oh. 
Them eyeballs are taking over them grill. We better beat them out. You! Yeah! Hit me already! Poison! Right side! Lesson? Take note of that there white bird. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. It's all about the prop. I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. Good. Guess you get extra credit. of the both of you and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those grim will take him down. Uh, nope. <laughs> Listen, you just made the last mistake of your life. Let go! Let's <laughs> 
Nasty, hey! You alright, brother? <laughs> 